Welcome back. Let us now see how to solve the question number 17 in CKS Killer Shell Exam Simulator. Question number 17, task rate is 7 percentage. We'll switch to this given context. Audit logging has been enabled in the cluster with an audit policy located at this location on, on this control plane node. Change the configuration so that only one backup of the logs is stored. Alter the policy in a way that it stores the logs from secret resources at metadata level and from system nodes, user groups, um, and at the request response level. After you have altered the policy, make sure to empty the log file so it only contains the entries according to your changes, like using this command. And there's a note uh, recommending that we can use JQ to parse or pretty print the JSON. Right. So they say the audit policy is um, in this cluster, let's let's say on to the cluster control plane uh, node, and then let's check the existing policy audit policy. So the current audit policy is at the metadata level. So it, which means it audits pretty much everything and they say this is where the audit log is located that if it is already enabled let's inspect this audit log and then pipe it to jq to pretty print it there's so much of information being uh, logged at the moment Okay, so audit is already enabled and it's working. We will now edit uh, the policy. So instead of metadata level, what they are recommending is uh, for secret resources at the metadata level. So let's make use of our Kubernetes documentation and we'll search for audit. And within the audit documentation, we'll search for secret. Here we, have, here we are. So let's copy this. Go back to our terminal and say, Okay. Okay. Syntax. Let's fix this. And the next one is in the system nodes user group. So let's search for the user groups in this one. There we go. We'll paste it and we will say the user group is system colon notes. 
and we have to do it at the request response level so go back to the documentation to make sure we are using the right syntax so request response with the first letter caps looks looks good and these are the only things of our interest and we don't want to log anything else other than these two so other than this we want we do not want anything to log so if you go to this example they have clearly stated that as well none we don't want to log anything other than these two so we have now modified uh, our audit policy file so let's check uh, if this is configured at our let's see kubernetes manifest in the cube api server it should be ideally so if you search for in audit so we have these entries already there for audit login so audit log path is there audit log file is there the max size is five max backup is uh, five and uh, there's one more statement that says uh, so so that only one backup of the log is stored so let's let's check these attributes so if we can maximum number of audit files to retain maximum size in megabytes so this seems to be the one the max backup audit log backup let's modify this to one so that we'll read in only one file so let's save this change and this should now initiate a restart of the QBB server and on the other tab we have we'll switch to the context again and say kubectl get parts so qbap server is still restarting so while it restarts we will truncate the audit files here let's open up so there is nothing in it uh, let's open here ideally we shouldn't be having this file here but it should be residing on the control plane node so keep the base servers still coming up we can check that as well to see don't have any problem we don't have any problem with the QBP server so let's do one more check final check nothing at war log ball
So line number six, it says mapping values are not allowed in the context. So there is some problem. Audit policy file. So there is some problem with the audit policy file, line number six. So let's open up that. Okay. Uh, let's check what is the problem. So group, it's just a command. This is where it is pointing to. Okay, so it is because of because of the spacing here. So let's check the pod logs again. It may be coming up anytime. If not, we have to check it once again. Oh, we have to restart. Um, the QBP server once again. I'll make some change in for QBP server to detect the change and restart. I think it's it's restarting, so it's still, this one is the latest one. Seems to be good from the logs perspective. Yep, looking good. Um, now take let's take a look at the, uh, the log file now. which which is this one out here it's generating the logs now qbp is up as well now let's do the jq to pretty print the json file looks good so so we have instructed it to uh, log only the secret related information and it does does the job. Let's also check for config map just to see if any config map information is there. Uh, it is there. It may be part of the second request, um, which is on the system nodes. Require, uh, yeah. Yeah, system.nodes. So it seems to be working as desired. All right, so that's it for this question. Thanks for your time.